known in this area. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here, and you are looking at the neck for the NK headless guitar. reason why the neck is off the body is because I need to put a shim underneath the neck in order to give this thing a little bit of a backwards tilt because the low and the high E string that are on the bridge, I cannot adjust them any further down. Uh, basically, I cannot set up any action height to it. But the first thing I want to do is I want to give this thing a fret leveling because there are some frets on here that are pretty much not level. I'm kind of rocking and rolling a little bit. So what I want to do is make sure that my neck is still the way I set it to be perfectly straight without rocking back and forth and without having any gaps in the center, which that looks like it's good. Get my tool out for the fret leveling get myself a black marker now i'm not going to put anything over this neck just yet i will when i uh, start doing the finishing to it but so right now i just want to go over the tops of these frets i've already checked the frets to see if there were any frets that were coming away from the fretboard and that seems to be okay all right, so that's done. Let's start doing the, the leveling portion. Now, I have 220 and 320 grit sandpaper on here. So I'm going to use the coarsest one right now. And go ahead and put this on the neck. just going over it a little bit and I can already see that there are a lot of frets here that are not really getting too much of the sandpaper all right that seems to be working a lot better let's see these two here are coming down this one's starting to come down a little bit this one's barely coming down so this is going to be a little bit of work so I'll be back Hey everybody, this is going to be another episode of, you guessed it, the Redneck Gourmet. And today I will show you how to make Redneck Gourmet Jalapeno Poppers. So, here we go. Alright, I'm back. And what you see here is a taped up, masked up fretboard. And the crowning has been done as well. Didn't feel like boring you guys with both, both processes because, you know, they're long and very boring very time consuming to watch, I guess, from the time you start to the time you're done. And what I like to use is the Stumac three-sided fret crowning tool file. Uh, works great, love it. Been using it for basically every time I do a fret crowning, I use it. Next process I have to take care of is the polishing of these guys. And uh, the way I'm gonna do that is use my little rubber squeegee thing wrap some sandpaper around it, uh, 400, 600, 800, and go back and forth and try to get all the scratches off from the file and sanding marks that are on the, the peaks of the frets. And then I'm gonna go over it with the uh, 1000 or 1500 and then 2000 and then go over it with some of the mag aluminum polish uh, by Mothers. That gives it a nice, real nice gloss, like glass finish and uh, works out really good. So I'm not going to bore you guys with that process either. If you do want to see how it's done, I have other videos. I've worked on other guitars for doing fret leveling and stuff. You can, you know, watch some of those videos if you like. But I'm going to get into this next step, and I'm not going to bore you with it. After I get done with that, I can match up the, bo the body and the neck again with a shim underneath the neck and see if I can get... Uh, measure it out and make sure that I'm not running into the low E and the high E 
uh, saddles that are on the bridge when I put a straight edge across this. Because right now, basically, that's what was going on. That's why I have no adjustment on the low and the high E. The rest of the strings are arched to go with the radius of the neck. So I'm not too worried about that. Those have some adjustment. But just the low and the high E that I could not get to... Uh, couldn't get them down to where I wanted them as far as doing a setup goes. So that's why I'm doing this. So I'll be back if you want to stay tuned. Continue to watch. I'm going to walk to the other end of my living area and test it a little bit more further. We'll say that we're about now 15, probably about 20 feet away from the actual unit. And now we will start going back into range from the unit and come back towards the PC. So, let's see how well it does. And you can hear me huffing and puffing. And again, see my stomach as I sit down. So, All right, so I've been pretty busy working on these frets. And as you can see, I've got quite a few of them pretty much done. Right now I am probably, yeah, maybe at the 12th fret or so. So what I got going on right now is I already went over it, and fanned over the frets with the 400, 600, and 800 grit sandpaper. And now I'm going over it with 1,000 and 2,000 grit sandpaper. And what I'm trying to achieve is a nice smooth surface with no scratches in it or anything else and so what I'm doing now is just going to go over it with a 1500 grit sandpaper this is a little rough on the fingertips and also very time consuming And after you go over the frets with the 1000 and 2000, after you polish it off, if you see any more like scratches at the peak of the fret, you know, the top of the fret from crowning and stuff, uh, you know, you might want to go over it again with the 1000 grit and the 2000 grit sandpaper to remove those scratches. I don't think the Guitar strings would catch those scratches because they're pretty small, but they're big enough to where you could see them. So that was the 1500 and or the 1000. Let me get a piece of 2000 here. A piece of 2000 grit sandpaper. Rip off a small strip. Fold it over a little bit. And continue to go over that fret. When I'm doing this, I'm hitting the side of the fret, also the top. You could feel the fret indenting in your finger or thumb, however you're doing this. And like I said before, I use my mother's mag and aluminum polish, a little bit on the rag, and start rubbing it in. And after doing that, you can see if there are any scratches on the top of that fret. And I gotta say, it came out real nice. So I still have the other half of the fretboard to go, and I'm gonna go do that. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 